I'm Cal Penn. Welcome to Getting Warmer. Over the next 12 episodes, we'll explore the new world that climate change is creating. We'll break down the important concepts to understand, meet the business leaders, scientists, and frontline communities, finding ways to adapt to our new reality. There's a lot at stake here, basically everything. But we have to start somewhere, so I want to kick things off by taking a closer look at plastic. Plastic is all around us. It's so pervasive that we don't even notice it. It's like water to fish. Actually, it's like plastic to fish. The oceans are full of it. Tens of millions of tons of plastic flow into the oceans each year. There's plastic in rivers, lakes, and soil. And studies have even found plastic in our food, our tap water, even our air. But how can this happen? I put all my plastic in the recycle bin. I even rinse out my peanut butter jars like a good citizen. I mean, they're glass, but still. Unfortunately, just putting stuff in our recycle bin doesn't mean it will actually be recycled. In fact, in America, less than 6% of plastic waste is recycled, which means over 90% ends up in landfills or the environment, or possibly, you know, you. Now, you might be thinking, Cal, you're just doing the recycling wrong. I only recycle plastic that has this circle of arrows, and they're green, like trees. Plastic with this sign on it is basically a tree, at worst, a bush. But if you look closer at that circle of arrows on the bottom of the plastic packaging, you'll notice it has a number in the middle. This doesn't mean it's practically recyclable. It actually indicates what type of plastic it is. So ones, twos, and fives are stronger plastics. They often are recycled. They include bottles and those packages that take at least two different power tools to open. But when it comes to the rest, come on, less than 5% can be recycled. You might as well replace these numbers with like shrug emojis. Take plastic utensils. We've all thrown them in the recycle bin at some point, right? But they probably ended up in a landfill. Recycling facilities find them really hard to sort because they're small and they're often made from different kinds of plastic. But even if plastic utensils could be recycled, they only would be if there was a market for them. And for a lot of plastics, there isn't one, at least not anymore. For decades, China imported millions of megatons of plastic waste. But in 2016, they decided they didn't want to buy our used ketchup bottles anymore, which, you know, fair enough. Unfortunately, it left us with a big growing pile of plastic trash. Now, it'd be great if American companies took all that plastic trash and reused it for their own supply chain. But they strongly prefer to make new plastic, or virgin plastic, as it's called by plastic companies, and probably bullies, because virgin plastic is cheaper. And companies prefer having more money than less money. That's kind of the whole point. But while companies profit from cheap plastic, the environment gets stuck with the bill. Plastic pollution continues to get worse, and by 2050, the oceans might contain more plastic than fish. So pretty soon, it won't be better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Thankfully, we do have options to combat this problem. First, we can absolutely make more of an effort to reduce our personal plastic use. Beyond that, we could pass laws that force companies to make more sustainable packaging or outright ban certain types of single-use plastics, which several countries have done. 